Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to Bella Labin's Chinese Food Kitchen. In today's kitchen, I'm going to share with you a recipe of steamed bars with ginger and green onions. This morning we were on the lake. We are very lucky to get a medium-sized bus. It's about a half kilogram. It's a good-sized fish for we do a steam. These are all the material I used for this plate: a bus, ginger, Sichuan peppercorn, coriander, green onions, and one hot pepper. Oil. Light soy sauce and the sugar. After cut off the skewers and cut open the stomach, remove everything inside. Don't forget remove the blood. Now we prepare some clean water in the bigger container, and then slice some ginger and some green onions, and put them. In the container, this way we make ginger and onion liquid. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the gingers and onion, make the liquid art. Then cut two knife on the top part of fish spine, and then cut three. Small cut on the side of fish spine. Then we soak the fish in the ginger and the onion liquid. Set aside. Now we go ahead to slice the green onions. Make them a small, small, tiny slices. Then we prepare a little clean water in a container. After we slice the green onions, we put slices into the clean water. As you see in this recipe, we use a lot of green onions and the ginger. When you eat fish meat. You eat fish meat together with green onions and the ginger. The more tiny pieces you cut, the more better. Okay, the same thing we slice the ginger and then cut them into very tiny slices. Then the next one we need cut. The hot pepper into small, tiny slices too. We can only use half of this hot pepper because I don't want it too hot. Now we finish this part of slicing. We put all the slices into the clean water and soak for a few minutes. Now we need to do another slice. This is not a tiny slice. Just slice like this, and cut this ginger into two for another purpose. You see, our steamer tray only hold this small plate. For our big plate, it cannot hold in. Then we think about another way: use a big plate on the bottom. Then put our fish plate. On the top of it. Now, but the cover still cannot cover it. We try this big basin. Wow, that's good. Working good. Then on the top, put a heavy glass container. That way, the basin won't move. Now we put fish in the fish plate. That's. Two ginger is support ginger. Put fish on the top of ginger and also the two the chopsticks used to support the body of the fish. Now we put sliced ginger into the gap 
with cut on the fish body. Totally, that's six gap. So we put six slices of gingers. So the ginger used to remove the fishy taste, make the taste better. Now we put the fish plate into the steamer on the plate, on the support plate. Okay, looking good. Then we cover it using the big basin. Also put on the top a glass heavy container. When it is boiling, it's boiling about 15 minutes. And it is based on the, the size of the fish. If a big fish, you need to steam more time. My fish is not too big, so I steamed about 13 minutes. For some of you who don't like eat fish with bone, you can cut off the bone and use fish fillet, but don't cut off the skin. The skin is delicious and nutritious on this plate. But this cooking method is only applied for the fresh fish. Now we use a small bowl, put in half tablespoon, another half tablespoon of light soy sauce, one eight teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, and 50 milliliters of cold water. So there's the, that's the sauce for our fish. Now, 30 minutes already, we turn off the stove, but don't open the cover, it is too hot. We wait for two or three minutes. Now we open it. That's some liquid in the fish plate. We dump it. And then we take off the chopstick and remove the gingers below. You can also remove the slices of ginger on the body of the fish if you don't like to eat them. Okay, move the fish in the middle of the plate, then put the slices green onions and the gingers and the hot peppers mix and put them all. They are also delicious when you eat with fish. Then add in about two tablespoons of oil in a cooking pan. Use the low heat. Add a little bit more oil. Then add in Sichuan pepper corn. This Sichuan pepper is have special taste. I love them because it gives you a little thumbness of the mouth. It's very good. If you don't like this taste, you can just use the pure oil. Use this there. When the oil is a little bit smoking, so that's good timing for we put the oil into the fish. Okay, we use a big spoon and to pour the hot oil onto the green onion. Yeah, pour more oil on the green onions. Okay, now we put back the cooking pan. Then add in the sauce we just made. Stir, stir, make sure all mix together. Then cook a little bit make the sauce a little bit thin.
next color. And then pour the sauce on the side plate of the fish. Okay, oh, the next color. Okay, that's it. We finished everything. Now, the fish. Wow, it's looking good, looking good. Don't worry about too much oil because you don't eat all of the oil. It just used for the dipping sauce. Oh, let me try it. Wow, the skin. This is the best part of the fish meat. So I gonna eat it. You see, you dip, dip some sauce. Then you eat with green onions, ginger, and hot pepper. Wow, wow, it's delicious, delicious fish. This is my favorite cooking method for the fresh fish. You can use fresh fish fillet to make the same plate, but make sure the skin part is on the top. How do you like my recipe? If you try it, I'm sure you're gonna like it very, very much. Thank you. If you like my recipe, you can click subscribe button below. It's free for subscription. Thank you. See you next time.